everybody double j 101 back again for the first time in a long time with a new video been gone for a while if you can't tell a lot of things have changed for me in my life so really i think to get back in the groove of things or at least to get an idea how to get back into things I figure i'll make a new video and let's do a collection video you can see my basement my man cave my collection the whole, the whole thing just kind of get a good view of everything we'll we'll start with the not as or the the kind of cool things over here we'll make our way around and we'll get to the holy grail of transformers behind me so again this is my first video in a long time so bear with me i'm still getting used to talking again so let's go ahead and get started here so you can see i'm a massive blues fan and carnal fan here in st louis got some of the stuff around here first we'll see some of my titan figures that just don't fit in the main room at all Got Omega, got Takara's Grand Max, as well as some of the other main guys down here. Right there is Zeta's Bruticus. Down here, let's get down to the bottom. We have a Minton Box, not sealed, but Beast Wars Megatron there in the back. Predaking, a couple other guys here. Thanos, Infinity Gauntlet, and here is some. Dragon Ball Z Pops and other miscellaneous figures. As well as my fans toys, Dinobots on top. Besides Grimlock there, he is a Hasbro one. He's also holding the Popsicle uh, Bot Bot. Can't think of his name by any means, but yes, that is what he's holding. Got a couple figures here hanging on the side. These guys are some that I just, I like to collect some that are in box that are figures that I've had back whenever I was younger. Some lines that I collected when I was young, nothing too special. Down below, have my game consoles all lined up, ready to play. Over here, some movies, as well as a few more pops, other miscellaneous things. There's the Voltron from the more recent Voltron collection that they brought out. I think I bought it whenever Toys R Us, Toys R Us was around. And some more video games. Pretty much I have a little bit of everything for video game wise. A little jump cut for you guys there. Get us over here. Have some of the Legacy Collection, Legendary. I forget exactly what, what they're exactly called. But some of the Toy Story stuff as well as a couple... Marvel Legends I haven't figured out where to put yet. Four of the five Black Order figures there. A couple movie masterpieces and some book collection as well as some magazines. And here we go, some more games. Sex Saturn's my jam. That's where I'm mostly hoping to do my collection stuff. A couple other guys. This guy right here is just fantastic. I love some Street Sharks. Finally found one mitten sealed. Show you some sweet coasters I have as well. Got some Decepticon coasters. As well as the Legacy Collection for the Megazords, at least the ones that came out with Bandai. Hoping really that Hasbro makes some other ones. Here is my bar. Some other Marvel Legend figures that I just haven't found a place for. And here we got collections of some bottles and such as well as some Cardinal bobbleheads, as well as some alcohol, no-nos. So got some bar lighting and my Double J Tavern. Thank you, buddy. Best friend made that for me. Over here, got some more pictures, or at least posters for some Stanley Cup playoffs that the Blues didn't make it very far in, as well as some fans' hobbies, guys. You guys seen the video of him a while back. And I never made one of Power Baser, but this is him combined with combined with his combiner piece that I just cannot think of the name for the life of me right now. Got some pops here, all the way down. Nice Goldberg figure, got on sale. And some more there, as well as over in this nice dark corner that I don't have much light for, some Boondock Saint stuff. Down below, a little bit of a mess, but we have some other figures here, as well as some pops. One of the best 
terrible movies ever made, Mosquito. I love it. Another fans hobby guy. Can't think of, man, right now, just cannot think of names at all. But there we go. As well as some more games and again, some clutter that I have over in this corner. Another movie case right there. Over in this corner, we have some Marvel as well as some other miscellaneous things. Of course, I'm on the Blues poster. A couple of sealed guys here. That's the Worthy Cap and Mysterio. Again, sorry for the light, a little dark over here. Thanos, and like I said, a couple of Star Wars guys here. Got Boba Fett, Darth Maul, a sealed amiibo. That is pretty much my favorite Nintendo character, King DDD as well as a Batman. Down here I have my one arcade one up, which is the Marvel arcade one up. It's pretty great. I'm terrible at it, but you know, it's pretty great. As well as my stand that I have not made yet. Into some Transformer stuff. This is my G1 collection. Not very substantial, but it is here. And sorry again for the lighting. I don't have much in lighting at all. Uh, you can see what we got here. We'll go down. And again, it's not very large. Kind of a small collection. But it's ever-growing. Got some Headmasters down here, as well as some Pretenders. And some Beast Formers, or whatever the U.S. name is for them. I'm not 100% sure if these are official Beast Formers or not, but they do the job. And then a couple other masterpieces down here that I just don't have a good position for, but they do belong somewhere. Oh, and of course, my first ever Prime. He's back there, G2 Prime. And before we leave this room, we have to show off one of these fantastic Howard the Duck old school comics, as well as one of the best soft drinks ever made right there tab now to show off the main room this is my office my main place of enjoyment for transformers all around in here we'll start over here in this wall over here we got some sealed guys anywhere from beast wars to prime combiner wars one one little gobot there 30th anniversary stuff we do have one Action Master, which I was lucky enough to find him at a pretty good price. One of these new guys that they've been releasing, these Re-Action, I think is the name of them. Re-Action, yes, that is the Starscream. Only, only one I really care about. Some other Beast Wars, as well as some other miscellaneous stuff. Armada, I'm trying to get back in Armada, so I have a few of these guys. They're not actually sealed, but they've been recarded. Those are pretty cool. And we do have some original movie stuff as well as, well, one original movie thing and a Revenge of the Fallen Ravage. Something I think is pretty cool. Show this off. This is my one trip. Oh, there's my full name, by the way. My one trip to BotCon, which was in 2014. And you can kind of get a view of everything that happened if you like. Feel free to pause and read it over. As well as my Optimus Prime Time Pass for the last night. This was, I think, the premiere night. Got one of these. Nothing special, but it was cool to hang up. As well as my TFCon 2018 little pin. Over here, got the Power of the Primes. Little poster here showing off the 13. Let's see, 4, 8, 12, 12 primes, maybe not 13. That came with Predaking. As well as some guys up here, we have G2 Prime, Laser Prime, not sealed, he's just complete in box, as well as the leader class, Hunt for Decepticon Starscream, and we'll get to him in a second, but behind that, G2 Megatron, he is sealed. My lovely wife got that for me for my birthday one year. And it is amazing. Right here is a New Age Starscream. One of the best Starscreams I've ever owned. Can't tell I'm a bit of a Starscream nut. Really is my favorite figure. 
well, favorite character. And you can tell back here, of course, I do have another Starscream. This is Machine War Starscream. He is mint and sealed box. Very nice. And over on this side, something else I forgot to show is the movie The Best Soundwave. Before they brought out the new Soundwave, that was the best looking one. Never got around to opening him, but he is really, really nice. On to my movie shelf, or shelves. This is the first movie shelf, mostly just the main characters of the first movie, and, well, all the main Transformers. Got the five Autobots there. Right here we have the Ratchet from Dark of the Moon, but I just feel like he's the better looking one. Better paint apps, so keep him here. Video cut out there for a second. So again, like I said, Megatron and his little minions there, as well as Barricade. Down here, mixture of what they have out right now. It's really for the second movie, third movie, all the way up until Bumblebee. These guys there, that's the new, newest leader. Shockwave as well as the newest sound wave and the little bitty guys there Brains and well brains is right there And wheelie can't really see him. He doesn't stand up as well as the other one Down here got Jetfire. Th those are the Decepticons down here. We have Jetfire and some Autobots Make sure some old things as well as some new like this Roadbuster Miscellaneous guys down here. Again, like I said, I'm getting back into Armada, so I'm hoping to have a couple shelves of that at some point. Tidal Wave, this is one from my head when I was a kid, as well as that Jetfire and the Star Saber. These two guys are from the latest Cyberverse, which are, they're just cool because you really don't have a figure of these in any main line, so they'll be good stand-ins. Down here are some unopened Studio series things that I have, as well as some last night stuff. Oh, I'm gonna see what this is back here. It's just the special edition or the only real hot rod that was ever released. Okay. Now on to the crown jewel. These guys, and I have another shelf over here to the right, but we'll get to that in a minute. Got some Seekers mixed in with some old Seekers there. Still waiting for the new cone heads to come. Oh, and a Rat Bat. Some Decepticons there. Really, these new Siege and Earthrise and even the Titans Return stuff works out pretty well, but this stuff really just takes over anything you may own before. The representations that these figures and characters really show, it really just settles into the collection and Fits the, the perfect need you would have for some of these figures. That's the latest Takara Tomy Seacons, which I'm waiting for an upgrade kit to come out for that, so they stand up a heck of a lot better. Over here we got a little bit more Decepticons. And on to the Autobots. Really hoping they bring out a new Rodimus Prime. I like that Power of the Primes one, but... I think one with the newer style of Siege would really be nice. That Jetfire, never did a video on him. Maybe one day I will, though. Older figures on new videos don't really do the best because you've seen a lot of that kind of stuff already, but that Jetfire is amazing. Over here, we got a little bit more combiners. Com blah, blah. Excuse me, Combiner Wars mixed with some newer figures. This guy right here is awesome too. I will put the name on the screen right about now once I get it again, but I got him off of Facebook. It is a Rack and Ruin created through 3D printing, and all in all, he's very well made. You can definitely tell he's 3D printed, but he is a really nice put together figure. Down here, another Combiner Wars Combiner, Superion, and some other guys. Got some Takara Tomy versions, or the Legends versions of some figures mixed in with these guys. Some just have a much better paint job. Down here, got the Big Powered mixed in with Star Saber. Not Star Saber, Star Convoy. As well as a couple Beast Wars figures. 
most of the Beast Wars 2 and Neo. Now here we have a couple generations Beast Wars, but mostly Masterpiece. That Megatron is awesome as well. I don't care what people say. Fantastic figure. I can't wait to really get him back into T-Rex mode. I think he's going to stay on my shelf that way. Planet X's version of Deathsaurus, as well as, I think that's TFC's Lyo Kaiser. And he's good enough for what he is. He doesn't have the best stability, but he is a nice figure. A couple masterpieces here as well. Including that Road King in the back, that Motormaster. Love me some fan toys. And some guys here. These three don't really have a place to go yet. You should tell this Detoff is not lit. I'm still waiting to figure out where things are going to go. Sad little Star Saber down there, all alone. Starting back over here on the top, we have a sealed. That is the re-release of Big Convoy in anime colors. Break, one of my favorite Neo figures. Some Box G1. Most of this is reissue. A few of these are knockoff, like that reflector there. Never was released in a box, so if you can't tell that is a release or a reissue. A couple other ones that are reissue slash KOs. This right here, if you don't know, this is the special one year edition. Let's see if I can get it off. One year edition of the trading card game. All those are plastic cards. And then if you just pull this out, drawer with some dice and some other cards, that is a thank you card. And if I can get the lid back on, there we go. Move that aside. Have some other bookshelf looking G1 figures there. And if we move on over to the wall, some other re-releases as well as some um, exclusives only to the Hasbro Pulse website. And a few more KOs, those guys right there. Down here, we've got a reissue, the number 23 of Fort Max. He is open, but I just like to leave him in the box. I think he looks really nice there. My Alienware computer, as well as where I do all my work. Schooling, everything, it's what a life. And over here is my other masterpieces. MP44, so expensive, but man, another fantastic figure. Same with that Hound. The Hound is pretty pricey too. I still like him. Got some there. And down at the bottom, my 86 movie shelf. It's a little more barren now. I just sold a few figures, but still. I do plan on getting the uh, the Takara version of RC, even if her chest is a little too low, but still plan on getting it. And all in all, that is my collection. I hope you like this video. It is really kind of out of nowhere. I know it isn't a review by any means. If you still want to make, if you still want me to make reviews, go ahead and leave it, leave a comment below, and I will definitely consider it. Life, like I said, has been a little crazy. I recently had twins in the past, well, I guess recently, meaning like seven months ago, but with twins, working full-time, 40-hour plus job, and also doing college, there's a lot of, a lot of work kind of backing me up and not really getting a lot of YouTube in. So again, if you want to see some, some videos of any kind of reviews of any sort, new figures, things I already have, anything that you've seen in the in the in the cases that interest you, go ahead and let me know. I will definitely consider it. And I hope to uh, see you or at least make a video here soon. Thanks again for watching if you have. Thanks again for sticking around if you have. If you haven't, totally understand. I haven't made a video in so long. I cannot blame you at all. So again, thanks for everything. Uh, have a nice, safe holiday. This is probably going up on a Sunday, so the day after the holiday. But again, you know, everybody have a good one. Thanks again for watching.